Morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? Brad and I are on the way to the scrapyard. We've got one of the printing presses in the trailer. Um, it was an effort to get it in there. And we've stacked a whole heap of washing machine shells and whatever in there as well. Um, you'll probably see them when we're unloading those. Uh, we've got two OBC pods on as well. We've got a whole heap of nuts, bolts and screws in the old fridge there. I've gutted the fridge yet. There's nothing actually in the fridge except for that. Stove on there. A few washing machine parts up top. Chair and all that sort of thing. Um, we've got a whole heap of heavies in there as well. So yeah, a couple of bed frames and all that. So anyway, we'll get to the scrapyard and see what we're going to get out of this lot. They got their upgrade that they were looking at. We've already got people here throwing wash machines off. I'll have those. Where are you getting out? What do we weigh this time? Got to get off there. We've got one more person with us today. Oh yeah, 5.62, that's not too bad. Price going down or up, or what's going on today? Well, we've got some good news, everyone. Our press we've got in the back here may be going as heavy melting steel. Not getting a waste levy. That's a bonus. Good news. We have a lot of hand stuff here we've got to take off. Oh, come apart. Thank you, come apart. Go underneath. That to there. Our bread's freebie out. You like to pull that strap across? Like I said, crowd his, crowd his feet out. At least the rain's keeping at bay. Yeah, so the printing pressing, yeah, good, good way of doing it. We've got a lot of insides off it anyway. You like to undo those others? With their heavy melt, melting steel, just told that um, you don't get the waste levy here with this scrap yard. So that's a bonus even still. All news for me, I'm still finding out as I go. So. Every day is different. Sounds like the scrap prices are still the same. Haven't changed. 
Yeah, you'll have to undo this completely. I'm gonna crowd your feet out too. <laughs> I'm gonna crowd your feet out. I roll them up later. You give me that rubber. There you go. Let's just throw it in. Yeah, we just take this off like that. Off. You're not quite off. Oh. Close that. You pull the strap right out. That's it. Chuck it over. Well, if you can avoid the mud. <laughs> That's the thing. If you can avoid the mud, you're better off just pulling it from putting that there. Putting it in that hole so you don't put it in the mud. Right. I'm a bit fussy that way, aren't I? Yeah, well. <laughs> I don't want too much mud in the vehicle. Yeah. And that way you can just pull it over. You won't get that off until the IBC comes off. Yeah. Um, but you may be able to pull that strap through from this side, from the other side. You just chuck it in in my window. Open the door and chuck it in on the floor. I'll get these others done. Oh, this conveyor might be down. We might have to put this stuff over there, Brad. Yeah. Ah, all this other stuff, all the loose stuff. I don't know. I didn't actually ask. I need a toolbox for these, don't I? Now, well, your feet's good enough. I might be able to get that one. Here we go, look at that. Luck is on my side. I was able to get that, so I might be able to get the other. Yeah, no, I've got that off. Oh, you got it off? Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah, right. Um, just go and ask him, go over in through there or up in there, doesn't matter, where he wants, whether he wants us to put it in these bins over here or in the, on the slab. Meanwhile, I'll get the gate open. You want me to move over so you can get the other side? Um, um, overloaded again, I oh, hey, look, mate. If you're not coming in with a whole heap, yeah. no point coming in. Well, that's true, but... I know we're severely overloaded all the time. I, I'm tipping when I unload. I'll probably be, with your scrap steel, probably 2.6. That's my guess. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just amazing. Well, I've got a printing press in the back there. Yeah, yeah. So what have we got? Uh, and he was saying it might go as heavy mel melting nah, steel. We nah, well, that's what he was saying. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but um, I lift, I lifted, melting, yeah. I lifted that in with a front end loader. Yeah. It was the only way I could get it in there. I wasn't putting it on there. And then I thought, oh, can we fit another one in? That would have been overloaded. <laughs> what do you mean? You're 5.6 tons. Yeah, and? Well, that's I'm not overloaded. <laughs> pretty certain. <laughs> pretty certain that you are. Springs are not broken, so I'm not overloaded. Technicality. <laughs> a lot on there. <laughs> 
Brad knows that. Know. So where do you want? Do you want me to put some stuff in that? Yeah. If you can throw the, the smaller stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. So can you can rotate it into that. Yeah. But so what have you got on there? Those are all. That, yeah, they're rotatable. Uh, that can be lifted off with the fork. Yeah. Same as the stove. All this stuff can be lifted off and straighten the bin, straighten the bin mate. So that's got a whole heap of screws and God knows what inside that. Righty out. So you know what's going on now, Brad? All this small stuff over in the bin over here, mate. You got it? <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, all the loose stuff. Those two pieces on top, that, even if we can get it out, after this stuff though. There you go. There you go, squeeze it, are you? Yeah, no worries. You watch this. You watch how he gets the stove off. <laughs> That's easy, isn't it? Squeeze it together. Squeezy, squeezy. Also easy. <laughs> yeah. Makes life easy for me. Yeah, we're going to slide it off and put it on the fork. And then he just opens the fork up and away it goes. Yeah, we're gonna grab whatever we got, whatever we've taken off. All that, because that way this goes as heavy melting. This is how old it is, the press. Three of them, that's one of them. <laughs> uh, how do you want to do that? You want to lift it and drag it back or what? Hey. How do you want to do that? You going to squeeze it or what? Oh, you're listening to music. Oh, hang on. <laughs> you got a phone call. I only pushed it in there. Yeah, stuck on me. Oh, the press has moved. Yeah. Well, we didn't have it tied in real well after all, did we? Uh, 
like that. Oh, it's only that plate up there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, we've got to get the stuff off there anyway. Yeah, that there. Oh, it's that plate. Yeah. The whole pressure's moved. That moved it away a bit. We've got to get all that scrap from underneath too. Somehow. I wonder if we just pull that straight up. No. It's easier to get that away, isn't it? That way, you want to pull and I'll push. Feed it around it. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Give it a tug. Tug, tug, tug. Oh. Yeah, I didn't bring no gloves today. Yeah, the bottom. Bottom's all caught up. Well, it doesn't weigh much anyway. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know how they're going to get that out. I wouldn't have a clue. But anyway, we'll get this bloody thing out of the road. There's 10 kilos. That's the easy one. Maybe we should have put it up like that. Would have been able to get it out, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, got to do things the hard way. <laughs> you reckon? You might be able to squeeze it. That's the go. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. Let's see what we can do with this mattress. Ah, she's moved. That press has moved. Moved a fair bit. Heavy melting, all right. I can't seem to move it. Oh, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Nah, she's stuck. So I said, I don't know how they're going to lift it out. That'll, it does, that wouldn't weigh much anyway. Probably a kilo. I don't know how it'd go. I can't even lift it up. If they organise and lift this out, we'll be able to grab that. Yeah, but see, I've got to go back around on the way bridge. For that. For that. Oh. Are you going to squeeze? I'm out of your road. I wish I could do that at home. <laughs> wish I could do it at home. <laughs> Make life easy for us, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's he's on the phone again. <laughs> uh, what were you saying? You want that bin back? No, no, no. I said I wish I could do that at home. Squeeze it like that. You can. You just 
gotta buy a forklift that'll do that. Ten grand more? No, it's a hundred. Oh, go away. <laughs> this is hard Go and dump it. <laughs> it's got a coffee cup on it. Yeah, I know, you drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's not the best, it's too big. Yeah, you're going to get another one for inside, aren't you? Well, we're going to try, but... Try, yeah. And it's not four wheel drive either. You can see it's slipping in the mud. <laughs> so he's only got those two there. So he just lets that go up there. You watch, you just let it go. I don't want the bloody thing back. How am I supposed to, how are we supposed to get the shit out of it? No. See how he's spinning? This place is a dust bowl when it's, you know, when, when it's dry. Um, that thing there is caught. I can't get it out. Why not? Well, it's... Oh, that's moved that way. Well, that's just rough driving. No. Okay. I, don't, I don't know whether you can pull it up or whatever. I'll hop out of here. Out of that's I'm right. Press or not? Well, if you push it, it's going to go in, in into the mesh. Oh, you're going to try and weigh it over there. Then weigh the forklift. Is that what you're doing? I can do that, or just watch your trailer side. Yeah, keep going. You watch that side, I'm watching the tailboard. Whoop, that's the tailboard. Can you lift it up or not? You got about half an inch between the tailboard. That with the motor was 1200 kilos. It's got some weight in it. Hey, Bo, I'll ring you back. Um, or. No, no, I'm just gonna gently. Can I squeeze it? Yeah, you, you can do whatever you want to do. Even if you squeeze around that pump section. I've got a strap there if you want to hook onto it and drag it. No, no, I'm just going on. Yeah, I'll yeah you got that out of the road. There you go. Um, go under that. Go under that. You're going to get that weight in its heavy melting, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's what he was saying. Oh, well, I'll leave it on the trailer. But it is through at the front at the moment. One handle's through the front mesh, so you won't be able to lift it up. You've got to drag it back first. Uh -huh. Okay, have you got a hook? Yeah. Grab a hook. Yeah, got a chain. Always handy to have a chain. Where's that chain going? The chain gang. Where's it going? Brad's pushed it up in the fire over here. Where is it? Over here. <laughs> Bit of bondage, mate. <laughs> I'll stay and right put. I'll stay right here. Yeah, lift up. You don't want these anymore, do you? I do. Remember, the plastic stays in there. Yeah, you got it. You may need to put it down and refork it. Hey, what are you doing bringing us bloody tyres? What do you mean, tyres? They got rims in them. That don't matter, we don't want them. We don't take freaking tyres. You don't take those. Okay, I'll pull them out. There you go, done. Hey, the only way we take them is if you take the rubber bit off. Yeah, yeah, I know that. This is 
what we end up with. Ah, yeah, yeah. We can't get rid of them. We've nah. got to pay to get rid of them. Yeah, even though they got metal inside them. Yeah, I know, but the whole... Oh. It costs us $20 to take that tyre off oh, that rim. I'll take it home. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. Just, it's, yeah, it's $10 to take it off, yeah. $10 to dispose of it. So it costs us 20 bucks for a rim yep. that you get five cents for. That's all cool. So, cool, cool. Oh, that one there, you'll have to do the reciprocating saw. Yeah. Because the, the rubber's so yeah. goddamn hard. Yeah, yeah wait. Or I can burn it off. Maybe I, not. I would. <laughs> I just like the freaking boy. stuck into this piece of stuff. Uh, we don't want it tipping over. So we'll go around this pump of fear. It should hold there. There's a lot in that. Keep going, there's a lot more in there. Keep going, there's still more in there. <laughs> you got it caught. But that's why I like the IBC pots. You just load them up and away you go. And with screwing the plastic to the frame, it makes it so much easier. You can you can put screws in there, all sorts, and you just gotta have your water water holes in the bottom, drill a few holes, which I have done in those. Because I have come here in this trailer, while we're doing uh, non-ferrous stuff, this trailer was full of water. Flooded the shed out. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to blurt that one out. Cursing and swearing here. Yeah, put them in that. Chuck them in there. So that can go back up there. Now, see how I've put the two pieces of steel? back on here on the trailer. Up there. Same spot. Yeah, up there. Thank you. Yeah, but. Me putting the two pieces of steel there, because the sides are so high, it evens it out. They don't crown into the centre. That's it. Yeah. I know it wasn't you. I better not do that. I dirtied the vehicle. <laughs> right, yo. Let's see how much it launches up this time. <laughs> this side was the heaviest. I got it. Yeah, mate. You could have went a bit further, but don't matter, you got it now. Keep going in. Woo! That's it. Up. So you're putting it back down. I reckon that one maybe about 500 kilos. So we'll need a strap to strap around. Round and uh, yeah, just around. Uh, well, probably just go over it, really. But I usually put one back around it anyway to go home. No, yeah, so they don't move back from the wind. Now you watch where it comes out of this one. <laughs> Sounds heavy. <laughs> Yeah, shake all the dirt out. Get paid for dirt. <laughs> That's my thoughts. <laughs> Waste living, man. Well, that's the thing. We've taken off what we need to take, but see, I've got to weigh the whole thing.
But even if you get close, you'll be right. They're only light. That'll do ya. Go back. Boop. Yeah, you're right. Where would you like me to hook it? Um, sure. around that, that part there? Yeah. there again. You all yours? Go down with your fork too. That'll do. Keep going back. Make it easy for when you go to get it off. Yeah. I just Are you gonna use that to get it off or uh, I might just try picking up this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go around and reweigh anyway. Go re-weigh it, then I'll just pick it up and weigh it inside. With the forklift. You got me buggered. Now what you say, re oh, tear out, and then you, oh, and you weigh it inside. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Three point seven. He's going to lift it off with the forklift and then weigh it in here. So we're tearing oh, out. Yeah, that's what he said over there. Oh, and okay. we can weigh it on here, you see? Yep, righto. He said, yeah, definitely go as heavy melting. Yep. All right, so I'll, you want me to just back up out there? Yeah, back up. So, because I've got a leaky turbo too, remember? Oh, <laughs> I haven't fixed it yet. Oh, can I take all that home? <laughs> Yeah, six inches. You can go in further if you need be, but don't look like you need to. You got it. Straight out there. Can you side shift it that way? Oh, I'll do that. All right, I'll leave you. Yeah, you wanna grab that stuff out too? We don't wanna take that home. All right, we want to go and see how much this weighs. <laughs> you have to walk that all the way over there now, through the mud. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, because we took the motor off it, uh, a few extra bits, there was aluminium on there. But that's not too bad, 964 kilos. That's 100 kilos for rubber and plastic. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Well, there is a bit of plastic on it, I suppose. Uh, bit there. But yeah, we did take a fair bit off it. Uh, we missed that bit. It's always an experience taking someone else along. Someone learning the ropes as we go. Um, good to see that we did get the printing press as heavy melting. So anyway, we'll get down to the formalities, how much we got paid, how much the weights were, everything like that. For pressing steel, we took in 1,920 kilos, nearly two ton, 28 cents a kilo. Now you've got to think of the waste levy there, so that's not the exact price. You've got to think about what happens with the waste levy. Uh, so we got paid 
$537.60 for that for pressing steel. Now we did get heavy melting steel, that's for the press. We took in, well it weighed out at 964 kilos as you've seen in the video. 30 cents a kilo, that's the same price as in size. So we got a total of $289.20. Our grand total of bringing home $753.84. That's with the waste levy out, taken out of $72.96. So that was a real learning curve for us. Didn't know we could get heavy melting steel for the press. That's good news, I still got two more. I'm just wondering, this is just me, I don't know. Those big cast iron bathtubs. Wonder whether we can get that as heavy melting steel. I struggled in one, well I've got one, and I struggled to put it on the trail. So it may go as heavy melting steel, I'm gonna have to ask. So anyway, if you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one everyone, and you like the content, don't forget to smash the like button on the video. That does help the channel out. And if you wish to subscribe, please do so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. And I'm glad that everyone can see what Brad is learning. It's good to see that he's trying his best, trying to take everything in that I'm trying to show him. So it was a learning curve for him and like it was a learning curve for me today. But anyway, till next time, Happy scrapping, happy dumpster diving, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.